What is up, guys? Everybody, through TD, and we're here playing the next DDLC mod. This one is Doki Doki Summertime, and we're playing it in the winter of January. Although, <laughs> who cares? It's a mod. So, nothing else to really say but to just hop right in. Obviously, we're bringing him back. Well, that's actually my legit name, by the way, so who cares? So, I already see that, like, the name has, like, a different font. That's, it's, it's a tiny thing that changes, but maybe there's more to changes. There has been a few notable changes when I loaded up the game, but anyway. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me, but this, oh, come on. Don't tell me it's going to be like this, is it? Good friend since we were children. Kind of one you didn't think you expect to make today. Like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would be tired of waiting up. But if she's going to cheese me like this, I feel better off running away. This, this is like the same as the beginning of the original game. Oh. Wait. What did I do? Huh? Huh. I thought I was going to have to go through the whole game again, so I was skipping through it. So I have no idea what those dialogues said until I, uh, edit this video. <laughs> Oops. I don't know if it was anything important, but... Okay, I guess the mod's over. We got the credits. Alright, good mod. 10 out of 10. like this music, though. <laughs> I guess that's where the mod starts. The bus leaves me behind just as I arrive at the bus stop. Not again. I guess I wasn't appealing enough to the bus driver with this plastic shopping bag on my by my side. <laughs> At least the weather's pleasant today. I couldn't bear to just sit here for 15 minutes at some of the heat waves we had last year. I remember when I was a kid, I didn't even care when my parents warned me about the heat. <laughs> One time, they practically sprayed me down with the garden hose. <laughs> some parents. I wasn't even... <clears throat> I wasn't even that upset since we were having so much f so much fun with Sayori. I guess she was there. Come to think of it, I haven't seen seen much of her since last year. Aww. Uh, is there a chance I could look at the history and see what happened in the? Wow, look how different this looks. Did I? I would be bringing a new member. Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. I can't tell Sayori is really that much of an airhead or she's just cunning. I told you already I'll think about it. Oh, so he doesn't straight up join. He just says he thinks about it. Try to bribe me with food somebody else made. So you already... I told you already I'll think about it. Till then I'm not interested. Sorry. That's why we haven't seen her since last year? Well, shit. So he didn't join the club. Wow. Not even on the way to school ever since she started oversleeping regularly. It isn't my responsibility to get her to school on time, right? Aren't you supposed to be her best friend? Shouldn't she care about her? Besides, I'm sure she was doing fine with the club activity she got involved in. What was it again? Something related to books. Name of the game. Literature club. <laughs> Not really my thing. Maybe some manga now and then. But that probably wouldn't be considered proper literature. Games? Not not that is... Now that is my thing. Can't wait until I go home. Uh... 
probably not too much to say, right? Bikey! <laughs> That's an oddly familiar voice. I guessed right. I'll take it. Well, we've finally seen her since last year, apparently. Sayori? Hi, I haven't seen you in a while. Sorry if I bothered you. No, no, your timing couldn't have been better. I've got, I've got nothing better to do. I'm just waiting for the next bus to go home. I see. Oh, hey, it's Monica. In her casual clothes, not her, uh, her, uh, school uniform, like, usually in most of these mods. Hey, you're Mikey, right? Hello, Monica. We haven't talked much before, but I immediately recognize Monica. She's one of the popular girls at school. Smart, beautiful, athletic, same shit as always. Basically the kind of girl that chumps like me are too scared to talk to. You knew each other already? Not fair, I wanted to introduce you two. <laughs> That's alright, Sayori. We had a class together in the past. So, where are you two headed? Oh, why did I sound like a girl? So, where are you two headed? <laughs> We're going swimming! Summertime. <laughs> Monica said they have a discount on tickets for students and invited, invited me to join her. Ah, uh, back to the point. You gotta grab the opportunities life gives you. Just because we don't, we don't have to go to school doesn't mean we should stay indoors by ourselves. Also, exercise keeps us fit, and, keeps us fit and calms the mind too. It's going to be so much fun. That sounds great, Monica. Hey, Mikey, what about you? Me? I'm a loser, so... Yeah, what are you doing today? Uh... I glance at Monica and hesitate to blurt out some vague nonsense. Well... I haven't really made up my mind yet. Really? Huh? Well, I was just thinking, you know. Sayori seems to be... Seems a bit flustered. Was she like... Was she like this before? Wanna join us, Mikey? Yeah, that. What? Me you mean swimming? Uh, I'm not a really good swimmer. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We're just going there to have fun and enjoy the sun. Well... All right, Monica, I'll meet you two there. But first, I have to get home and get geared up. Do you know the way? Oh, brother, I forgot about that. <laughs> Not exactly. Monica tells me how to get to the entrance. I write it down to make sure I won't get lost. Here we go, I wrote it down, and... All right. The girls wave goodbye just as I see my bus... Arriving with Sayori being her usual cheerful self and Monica sweetly smiling at me. On the bus, I get lost in my thoughts. This is really something. I didn't expect to get invited by two girls like this. I guess I owe my thanks to Sayori for stopping to talk to me. This isn't like when she tried to get me involved in her club. Attempting to bribe me with food and make me feel guilty <coughs> because of the promises she made. I don't think that's right. Maybe if I didn't skip all, all those dialogues, I probably would get what he's talking about, but I just thought I had to go through all that bullshit again. Sure, this is a kind of... This is kind of out of my comfort zone, too. But thinking about seeing Monica in a bikini... <laughs> I'm gonna get demonetized if we have to see that. <laughs> Oh boy, I shouldn't let my imagination get the better of me. <laughs> it's just swimming. Besides, I can't even recall when's the last time I went swimming. At home, I drop off the things I brought I bought to the store. I rummage through my drawers looking for my swimming shorts. Where are they? Where are they? 
Was it really been this long since I needed them? Yes! I've probably never been this happy to find a piece of clothing. Now I just need some sun lotion. I'm not in good shape anyway. <clears throat> and adding sunburn to that would make me as a appealing as warm warm beer on a hot summer day. Huh? Not that I know what that's like. Sure, okay. The address Monica gave me isn't exactly in my part of the city, so it's probably best if I take the bus. <laughs> Even if I had to wait 15 minutes again, I, it would still be faster than if I ran all the way. Like, I could run all the way there. I couldn't run the distance from school to our house, even if my life depended on it. Luckily, I only had to wait a few minutes before the bus arrived. <laughs> I like how that just says hi. <laughs> it's already early afternoon by the time I get to the entrance. They don't seem to care much for their presentation since I would have easily missed, missed it if I didn't have the address. There are several people in front of me waiting to get in, but it takes all of them less than 10 minutes to get finished. Cashier. Okay, time to come with a voice. Hello! <laughs> Good afternoon. I'd be... I'd like one student ticket. Is there still a discount? Yes, 25% until the end of the month. Would you like to buy a monthly pass, perhaps? No, thank you. Just to let you know, today we are... Closing a few hours early, earlier than usual due to maintenance. We're going to announce it on the loudspeaker so you won't miss it. Too bad I w couldn't get here earlier. I could only spend a couple of hours with, with the girls. Already seen a bunch of art and shit, and it's freaking cool. Wow, this place looks really good compared to the low ticket price. I can't see the two girls anywhere. I guess I'll just go to the locker room and let get changed. It took me a few minutes, but I managed to find it. Since I didn't bring too many things, it only took me a couple of minutes to change and change my shorts and put the rest of my stuff away. Better not forget the sun lotion either. Back at the pool, I'm searching for Sayori and Monica. Maybe they are just swimming, <clears throat> and I don't recognize them in swimwear. I stand next to the pool. I guess I got splashed. <laughs> Gah! Ha! It's definitely one of them, right? Sayori in a ponytail is fucking adorable. I love it. I love it. Did I scare you, Mikey? No. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Come in the water. Don't worry, it isn't cold. Bullshit, it's a pool. <laughs> I like how it's, uh... How she's actually, like, moving up and down like she's actually in the pool. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, do you know how deep it is? Well, it's shallow at this end. It reaches just under my armpits. It's really deep on the other side, though. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Another splash. Yeah! <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Monica looks so weird like that. I don't know why. She got like a flower in her hair there? Ha! <laughs> you get so easily startled, Sayori. You meanie. Ha! <laughs> She's right, you know. Yeah, well, I... Sayori seems to be pondering something for a moment. And I challenge you. I bet I can hold my breath for longer. Challenge accepted. That's the spirit. It's good. It's good practice for you. What do you mean? Um, for diving. What else? 
Oh, you're right. Get ready, I'm coming in. Cannonball! The last sentence was directed more towards myself than to the two of them. I did learn to swim in my early teenage years, but it's not like I... Uh, practice isn't with an S. I'm just, just sorry. It's fine, though. But it's not like I practiced much since then. One thing's for sure, I'm definitely not going to be proposing any swimming challenges to impress them. It's not like I would be any more appealing for being confident beyond my abilities. Ah! Uh, okay, what was that? Come on, Mikey, just hop in all the way. And you'll get used to it quick. She's right, though. You ever, like... You know how, like, uh, in a freaking swimming pool, it's, like, freezing cold? But then once you're in it for, like, at least a good five minutes, you just get used to it? Simple. <laughs> but it's a bit colder than I expected. Then again, I get I did get used to it in a few minutes. I, I told you. <laughs> to my dismay, Sayori actually won that competition between us. I was tempted to ask for a rematch, but I figured it would make me embarrassed if it turned out that barely noticeable difference between our times was just me being lucky. Of course, swimming a few laps is almost mandatory if you're in an awesome pool like this. I wish my swimming skills were just as awesome. Getting tired after just two isn't something I was proud of. As I was having a breather, I noticed two girls leaving for the snack bar naturally i went to join them turns out even if monica looks like quite a <laughs> even if monica looks like quite the snack she's not on the menu <laughs> for fuck's sake the three of us go get our drinks sayori orders a strawberry and raspberry flavor <clears throat> flavored one while monica and i get the ex exotic fruits flavors we sit down on some lounge chairs and enjoy our drinks after finishing my smoothie i slump down into the chair and enjoy the warm rays of sunshine <sighs> i could probably fall asleep right now so he does i close my eyes and end up listening in on sayori's conversation with monica so what did you have in mind for tomorrow we could meet yuri and natsuki and go somewhere together our last meeting was a few weeks ago, so I figured, why not? A whole day together with friends? Yay! <laughs> Where are we going? What are we doing? If the weather's nice, we could meet in the park. Then we could discuss what happened to each of us. Maybe even talk about some literature if the others read something new. Ah, I'm so excited! I wonder if Natsuki's going to bake some cupcakes for the reunion. <laughs> oh, Sayori. You can ask her yourself, you know. Well, I don't want her to... I don't want her to work just because of me. Um, I think everyone would like to have cupcakes. Not just you. Ah, you're right. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, you could take you could text her about it. That's a great idea. You always know what to do, Monica. Yeah, always. It kind of relieves me to hear that Sayori hasn't changed all that much. She's still her cheerful, simple-minded self that she's always been. I'm glad that she found friends that can appreciate her despite all of her antics. I wonder what the other girls are like. Of course, I probably wouldn't or couldn't couldn't get myself invited to such an all-girl meetup. They probably want to <laughs> go on. <laughs> I woke up to Sayori nudging me on the shoulder. <clears throat> after a short after a short misunderstanding, it was established that I slept for a pretty long time on the bench. Long enough that the pool place is closing shortly. Since Monica already went to change, I well, more like we should be going to. Sayori insisted that she wants to come home with me, which I actually don't mind at all. It was always fun messing around with her back in the day. 
We part ways before entering the lo locker rooms. It doesn't take me take me long to get ready. <clears throat> so I just decided. Ah, I so I decided to wait for Sayori by the female locker room door. Just as I get there, someone comes out. It's Monica. Oh, hey, Mikey. She seems surprised by my presence. Hey, Monica. Thanks for inviting me today. Don't mention it. I guess it's the least I can do for Sayori. Sayori? Uh, she's almost done if you're waiting for her. Anyway, I hope you had fun today, Mikey. I got to go home to get ready for tomorrow. Uh, I would like to see Monica again. I'm waiting for Sayori. Well, we already got choices. At least we could save. At least we can always come back to them, if anything. Just in case. I, I doubt I will, but you never know. I'm waiting for Sayori. Fuck that. It was a fun day. I'll just wait for Sayori. I'm glad to hear that. Take good care of her, okay? I guess even Monica's concerned about Sayori being too clumsy. Oh well, can't disagree. Don't worry, I'll, I'll catch her if she trips on her shoelaces. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> yeah? Untied laces? <laughs> I can't shake the feeling that I might have misunderstood something. See you, Mikey. And with that, Monica storms off. <clears throat> as suddenly as she appeared. A few minutes pass and the door opens once again. You took your time. Eh, meanie. But you did wait for me after all. Call me a meanie all you want, but I keep my word. Yeah. Thanks for waiting for me. It's like it's like when we were kids and you, we used to go, go home from school together. She seems to be... In a very nostalgic mood all of a sudden. Is something holding her back in the past? I don't know how to talk about this since it might lead up to us talking about how we drifted apart. Yeah, let's not do that. I guess so. It's not really a big deal since we still live so close. We do. Well, she looks upset about that. Now she looks like she's about to space out. I totally forgot to hit H for fucking thumbnails. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I need them for thumbnails. There was probably a couple things I could have used for thumbnails. God damn it. We're going to be standing here until they close <clears throat> close the place if we keep messing around. Come on, Sayori. I think we could catch the next bus if we get there quick. Okie dokie. Okie dokie literature club. <laughs> Let's go, Mikey. Sayori's being her weird self as always. We manage to catch the bus just as it arrives. Oh, okay. So now we have this where we're on the bus and it's literally shaking like a moving bus. They put a lot of work into this mod. I, I can already tell already. On the bus, we sit next to each other and chat about a few things. So, what are you doing this summer? I don't really have anything planned. I'm just going with the flow. Oh, Mikey, you make me worried about you. Did you at least join a club last year? I looked at a few, but I didn't feel like taking on more responsibilities than what school requires me to. Besides, what are your plans for this summer? That's... Let's say I'm not sure yet. Why am I not surprised? Aha! <laughs> You're always looking out for others, Sayori. It's what I do best. Fine, fine. What about... It? But what about you? Me? If you want to get... Get me to take more responsibility for my future, shouldn't you show me a good example? Got her there. Well... There's nothing to worry about, Mikey. I'm gonna be okay. If you say so. Sarah shoots me a wide smile. The star stop. We arrive at Sayori's house. She slowly turns around after reaching the gate. 
Thanks for coming with us today, Mikey. It was nice to hang out with you after all this time. I had fun because of, wow, there's so many choices, I guess, that are going to be happening throughout this mod. No, thank you for inviting me. It was nice to spend more, spend some time with my childhood friend. I thought I had a verb. Never mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind meeting some other time as well. You know, like we used to. Why do I feel like this music's gonna be copyright? I'm sorry, I might need to turn it down. I, I think it might be copyright. Do you really mean that? Of course, you're fun to be with. Why is she blushing all of a sudden? Anyway, I'll see you around like a like a donut, Sayori. <laughs> see you next time, Mikey. Just before getting home, I recall something. Weren't the two of them talking about having some kind of meeting tomorrow? Man, I wish I could have get invited to something like that. Up. Oh. I wonder what those other girls are like. Probably don't want to know much about Yuri. <laughs> if they're anywhere between Sayori and Monica, I might even have a chance. <laughs> a chance in what, though? <laughs> Still, I doubt that the group of girls would welcome me with open arms and start vying for my attention. That sounds unrealistic. 